Thailand, a place of great beauty, belief, and history. Its heritage is on display each day, right next to the bustling modern day world. It's also home of one of the oldest martial arts in the world, Muay Thai. We're on the hunt to find out what makes these athletes lethally fast and super tough. And by the end of the week, we hope to get a first-hand look at a championship fight to see the best of the best in these Thai strongmen in action. When we got into Bangkok, we asked around to find out where the best Muay Thai camp would be to train. So we came here to find out what we could learn about Muay Thai and if they could give us some insight on what makes them so good at what they do. This camp is the home to Cha Chai Noi, a champion fighter here in Thailand. He's in a huge bout later this week. He's the underdog, and he's been training almost nonstop. Gon takes us to a secluded garden to observe a 2,000-year-old tradition, an object found in nature that can harden a normal body into a hard-fighting machine of a strong man. What's the secret ingredient? Bananas. But these banana trees aren't for eating. They're nature's punching bags. We can relate to this kind of training. It's called hard body. That's when you try to increase the density of your bones so they won't break. How do you do it? Ironically, by hitting things. Oh my gosh. Oh shoot, timber. Oh my gosh. <laughs> wow. Getting hit in the shin is one of the most painful events in or out of a fighting ring. Start off slow, man, and then uh, see how it feels, then work your way up. You found that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Thanks. Thanks. Please, 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 please. Hey, Craig, that banana tree didn't do nothing to you. <laughs> I'm just going off, Be man. Nice. It's just a banana tree. We're on the road once again, traveling from Cha Chao In Sao back west to Samut Prakam to determine how speed, strength, and agility define strongmen in Thailand. We've met up with Jack Prigna, an old friend from the States that now lives in Thailand. He's taking us to a place called the Samut Prakam Crocodile Farm and Zoo to witness another example of Thai strongmen. In Muay Thai, there are many moves named after animals. One is called the crocodile sweeps its tail. It's a killer kick that strikes the head, and these trainers defend against it every day. Paul and I haven't quite mastered the speed of the Muay Thai fighter, but we're willing to give the croc handlers a hand. But here's the problem. There's only one way to understand how incredibly powerful these crocs are and how quick and strong the trainers have to be. I have to try pulling the croc out of the water myself. Take your shoes off, Paul. It's real smart. Craig had the great idea of me taking off my shoes to keep them from getting soaked. I didn't realize they could stop me from slipping. That was crazy. Man, I'm still in shock. I'm lucky. I thought it was over when I fell, man. I'm telling you, I thought, yeah, he's going to eat me. We have a new respect for the endangered Siamese crocodile and a new understanding of the incredible ability of their trainers. Chachanoi is in the ring tonight in the championship Muay Thai competition in Bangkok. So we're headed back north from Chambury to the capital city. Everything we've learned about Thailand's strongman will be visible in the ring tonight. Speed, agility, dexterity, power, and balance. We're right here on the ringside, man, watching all the action. These guys are throwing knees, elbows, punches, and kicks. These crowd's going crazy, and they know every move that happens, man, when it happens, and they love knees. If you hear it, man, when they start throwing knees, they all start chanting. In a stunning upset, Chacha Noi is victorious. It's a huge win. Well, thank you very much for bringing us out to this. This, this, was, this was amazing. We have had a great time here in the kingdom, and I tell you what, it was an honor to be here.